Introduction. So welcome to this book. This book is not for everybody, because if you are completely happy with your life here upon this planet then stop right here and please read no further. You need not read any further either if you are living the so-called proverbial dream. If you are happy with your job career, your health, your government, your finances, your religion, the state of the world then this is not the book for you I am afraid to tell you. If you are happy with the overall developments of man and that we can go no further in aspects of discovery, science and evolution then this information is not for you. If you are happy with what you are told by the media in the form of television, radio and press then I congratulate you from being able to shut yourself off from what is really going on in the world. This book is definitely not for you. Personally, I cannot shut myself off from the complete lunacy that I experience every day, every week, every month and each passing linear year upon this planet. I see complete madness everywhere. I've become accustomed to the insanity now at 44 years of age but it took me a while to get my head around the insanity here. This insanity is everywhere upon this planet and is not isolated to only a few countries. It is an epidemic and this is why this book is entitled The Asylum because the evidence is everywhere and I will touch upon only some of the examples that are available to be researched yourself. How many times during your day or week have you witnessed something extraordinarily ridiculous? I am guessing that it's pretty often. How many times have you thought to yourself that it must be me, or said to somebody else that maybe I'm the crazy one? Currently I'll live in the south of England and thankfully will be emigrating in the future, but I witness idiotic behaviour every week on the British roads through erratic driving behaviour, people on their mobile phones, doing their makeup, road rage and the list goes on and on this is even before I see the stories on the nightly news or listen to the radio news during the daytime. The controlled local or national or international news that we see or hear now has become so comical to me that I sometimes turn the news on just for the comedy value alone, because the media is so controlled now, and as for social spying media I came off of it last year and have not looked back since, I don't miss it in any way, shape or form. The idea or concept for this hefty book came about one day after re-reading sections of my book written in 2012-2013 entitled Spirituality from the Stars. The book included channeled information which was written after I had trained and developed further along the path after having been working psychically as well as working as a medium. Some of the information that I had channeled was mostly of a spiritual nature as well as being profound. Some of the information was enlightening also but some of the information delivered was literally eye-opening and it was this type of information that I was unaware of at that time in 2012-2013. Such information involved day-to-day -day life here upon earth and it was information that inevitably had an impact on all of our daily lives, for example, one of the topics included in the book was fear bravery and it included these following words, fear is created by others but instilled in you from a young age, it is created by others in forms such as religions, governments and by people in power in an attempt to control, it is not your fear but it is imprinted in and upon you, fear and worry, as one leads to the other, is created by others and on occasion it is created by ignorance. This is just a few of the words of wisdom imparted in the book but after reading such a good example of given knowledge, I decided to take this a step further and investigate this channeled information that I was receiving to see how accurate it really was. This, I believe, was engaging my male logical mind as well as well as my creative mind in order to produce this new book here that you are now reading. To be completely honest my mind is very active and probably sometimes it can be too active but I enjoy questioning information that I am given. 
I do not always take information as being gospel and I believe that asking questions is healthy and this is why this book gives you the reader plenty of information and what you do with the information is a choice that is entirely yours. I endeavor to give you information that may not be comfortable to read at times and it may challenge mindsets also, but I hope that the information will make you think and possibly investigate more for yourself by research through the internet or by reading other books yourselves. My thoughts or ideas or the information that I have uncovered is not meant to control another in any way, you are being controlled enough. Your thoughts and ideas and motives are yours and yours alone. I am attempting to deliver interesting information to you the reader in this book and while I have been researching for it, the information that I have uncovered is fascinating. It is information that you would not often find in mainstream media because it is controlled and it is information that people in power as well as those within governments would not really want the majority of its people to know about those being the masses general public, researching for this book has reaffirmed or backed up the knowledge information that I channeled for spirituality from the stars, this includes topics such as money and banking, health, science, education, politics, war, terrorism, religion, food and water, secret societies and the control and slavery of this planet. This book uncovers the control of so many people around the world by so few. This book, as well as being fact-based, also has a spiritual flavor to it and therefore includes information within it that has been channeled by myself as well as others including information that has been delivered from psychics or mediums as well as information from patients that have been hypnotized where the subconscious soul a higher self resides which is able to access much more information than our conscious selves possibly can. Some say, although others disagree, that we are now in and have been in for a while, the age of Aquarius and if that is true, we can potentially expect the following to happen. A common astrological view is that humanity takes control of the earth and its own destiny with the destiny being the revelation of truth and the expansion of consciousness and that some will experience mental enlightenment. Another view is that religion will be replaced by a world ruled by secretive, power-hungry elites seeking absolute power over others that knowledge in the Aquarian age will be valued for its ability to win wars that knowledge and science will be abused, not industry and trade, and that the Aquarian age will be a dark age in which religion will be considered offensive. A final view is that the rise of scientific rationalism, combined with the fall of religious influence, focus on human rights and the growth of technology, flight and space travel, are evidence of the influences in the age of Aquarius. David Wilcock believed that the age of Aquarius in Hindu scriptures highlight the time of circa 2012 when the changes occurred, which coincided with the Mayan calendar end date also. This comment about the world at present is particularly accurate and summed up by an author named Michael Elner, and I provide plenty of evidence in this book to back it up. Just look at us. Everything is backwards. Everything is upside down. Doctors destroy health, lawyers destroy justice, psychiatrists destroy minds, scientists destroy truth, major media destroys information, religions destroy spirituality and governments destroy freedom. So if you are interested in finding out what agendas are really going on in the world today, please read onwards, but if not, Thank you for reading so far and enjoy your current illusion. Those who are able to see beyond the shadows and lies of their culture will never be understood, let alone believed, by the masses. This is a quote by Plato. The mind is like a parachute. It works best when it is open. This is a quote by the Dalai Lama.